here, happy to see you again. Actually, we have uh, met a couple or most of you a couple of weeks ago when we talked about the Jetta Hybrid. And you know, the Jetta Hybrid very important for us, the echo driving without any compromise. And I think what I want to present to you today and what you will experience during driving is another Volkswagen entry here, fun to drive, open driving, convertible driving without compromise. And we go through this uh, with a couple of charts uh, and when you bring it all together, you know, uh, it's the car also likes the coupe already, um, present itself and uh, delivers on a sporty car, great stand, great optics, we'll be talking a little bit more about it. You know, secondly, great fuel economy through the TDI, 40 miles, 41 miles per gallon. Um, of course, also, you know, sporty setup, you know, all the cars will have a, a multi-link rear axle. Uh, which is very important, so you know, supporting our brand pillar of driving dynamics. Um, also, you know, when it comes to innovation, technology, the roof, which is folded down here, uh, folds down in nine and a half seconds, and you can open it, it's very <coughs> convenient when you have changing weather conditions uh, at a speed up to a speed of 31 miles per hour. Also, on the other side, what's always for us important, day-to-day -day usage. So it's a full four-seater, and um, what you also get is a very nice trunk, uh, a trunk which increased very much to the previous model, so you do, do not miss anything with the vehicle uh, on this Caprio, uh, which is very important, I think, for us uh, and um, for the customers. Uh, when we look a little bit back, of course, you know, like the coupe was, the styling and the idea of the car goes, of, of course, back to the 49 Type 15 convertible. We did, at the time, in 2003, the convertible of the uh, second generation Beetle, that was right for that time. However, like on the coupe, for, it was, it, for us it was very important to touch base back on the iconic car. Uh, and I think you know, when you look at the car, you very much see this no different story than also on the coupe. When you look a little bit about the coupe, and John mentioned it already, very well, very good success. We introduced the car a year ago, and you know, we stick to our promise. In uh, April last year, when we introduced the coupe uh, in uh, New York, we said we would not wait another five years until we bring the convertible. Here we go, one year later, uh, we bring now the convertible to the market. And uh, the coupe did very well. You know, we had already 24,000 sales in, uh, uh, in North America, overall globally 67 thousand and uh, very good news for our brand, we could outsell uh, the uh, key competition which we we'll talk a little bit later about uh, the Mini Cooper and Mini Cooper S. Uh, what you will see at the lunch stop is a very nice uh, special model uh, which we already bring at that time because we believe you know the iconic brand, iconic nameplate Beetle very much fits to the Fender iconic brand and you know that we have a great sound system uh, together with uh, Fender and Panasonic uh, which we introduced first in Jetta and Passat and also in coupe, and it's also of course available in the in the convertible. And on the coupe side, what you will see, as I said, on the lunch stop, uh, we have a very nice special edition where you will see accents from the guitar world, from the Fender world, inside, outside of the car. Uh, I'm pretty sure you will um, uh, will enjoy it. Uh, as I said, it's uh, it's a lunch. Uh, also, you know uh, what was mentioned. We wanted to on one side. Of course, you know, get a broad range of customers attracted and uh, fairly neutral when it comes to male, female, older and younger people. But of course, Volkswagen stands also for their enthusiast customers. What you see here is a, uh, the Beetle convertible turbo, uh, and we talk about that also a little later. But, um, you know, what is this crowd out there, the enthusiast really, uh, how is the Beetle appealing? And then you saw it's a SEMA show for the international guests. The SEMA show is a, is a tuning show, very famous in Las Vegas every year. Uh, and uh, the Beetle made it there into almost all magazines, a lot of tuners uh, exhibited there. Uh, there's a couple of examples, and the upper left, uh, the blue one uh, from uh, VW Vortex, uh, even won there the so-called Gran Turismo uh, Best European Import Award. So we are very happy, uh, and I think everybody finds the respective entry uh, when it comes uh, from the mainstream to the enthusiast. When we look now, who is our key competition? Of course, it is. Uh, the Mini Cooper and the Mini Cooper S, but also there's aspirational um, additional um, competition there because those customers do not really stick in a certain size, in a certain segment. So you find the Camaro as well as, of course, the Ford Mustang, even down to a small Fiat 500, which of course is not really a full Caprio. But, you know, when you look at the, at the values of the customers and what they look for, uh, there is a similarity there. Nevertheless, Mini Cooper is the key competition for us. 
And uh, here is, you know, when you look at uh, what the core competition is, and we tried, you know, from our team, look a little bit, who could those people look like? Of course, the core <laughs> customers are in, a, in, a, in an age 45 to 65 uh, wealthy, good income. But the pros what John talked about is, um, is really also towards the younger people. And I think uh, when you look at the design, um, that is really, you know, something which also will attract more younger people. And we also have, of course, a couple of younger people here in the team. Uh, who are attracted by that. Like on the Beetle uh, Coupe, you know, the, the, compared to the second generation, the roof, uh, the, the hood is uh, running long, a pillar backwards, steepened up uh, windshield, and then a long running roof. The roof line, we have it down here now, but when uh, you look at the picture, the roof line is exactly, you know, the shape of the coupe, the high belt line, wide stand, big wheel to body relationship, super sporty. Uh, and that uh, is really what we uh, what we wanted uh, to do here. Specifically on the coupe, uh, on the cabrio, you will find a standard uh, spoiler, which uh, supports all the sporty positioning of uh, this car. When you look at the numbers, uh, you see, you know, that compared old to new uh, tar, we increased wheelbase, drag significantly, overall length increased, and uh, of course also interior space by that. Uh, you have a very uh, a nice rear seating arrangement here where you uh, can uh, seat uh, adults to adults perfectly uh, with a respective uh, leg room and also headroom. Very importantly, I think, um, which is a concern for every uh, Caprio customer, is that you have the right trunk space. This car delivers on it when you look at the numbers. Also, when you compare the car now to the key competition, we listed here Mini Cooper and Ford Mustang. Um, from a size point of view, certainly Ford Mustang is out of range, but when you really look at the uh, key competition Mini Cooper, uh, the, uh, the BD convertible is uh, in all dimensions superior uh, to the Mini Cooper, and uh, I think that is very important also for us and, and for the customers, uh, because the day-to-day -day use in this regard will not be uh, burdened in any way. Pricing. The car starts at 24,000, and what you've seen uh, before with the Mini Cooper, we are significantly below uh, the Mini Cooper with our starting price. The car comes with base engine, standard with automatic transmission. Uh, and, uh, you know, we have, uh, of course, you know, our uh, 2.5 base engine, the TDI, and for the uh, enthusiast customers, our Turbo, as mentioned before, going up to a price of uh, above $31,000. We mentioned the 2.5 uh, liter TDI, available with uh, manual and automatic, uh, 41 miles per gallon. I think it's a great play. Uh, when you drive the Beetle, and I promise you, you know, get in there, drive a manual TDI, be it the coupe or the convertible, fun to drive. The, R, uh, the, the torque is available at a, at, at a wide range, at already at low RPMs, and it's really a sports car, so you know, for the enthusiasts, I personally think it's not just a 2 liter turbo, but also, you know, the TDI, be it DSG, is pedal shift, or uh, the respective manual, lots of fun to drive, and then not to talk about, you know, the 2-liter turbo 200 horse engine, which you know also from the GTI as well as from the GLI. Features. Uh, of course, you know, the, the car already comes uh, in its, uh, its base uh, version, as uh, shown, you know, be, uh, below $25,000. Uh, it comes highly equipped. We have aluminum wheels on, we have uh, leather wrapped, we have uh, Bluetooth, MDI, heatable front seats, uh, and then, of course, you know, in the upper range, you get all what you would expect from Volkswagen, be it fender, be it navigation, keyless entry, and other things. I think, you know, what was addressed in the equipment very nicely is exactly that what bothers a convertible customer. It starts raining. So what do you do? You are not with your car, and then it's a mess if you have cloth seats. So you get every car as of the base car, you get leather red. Heated seats. I mean, whenever you drive and it's getting a little bit chilly, heated seats. Uh, and I think, you know, that is also, you know, supporting very much a high level of day-to-day -day use of the car. When it comes to structure, uh, and structure is important, of course, for driving dynamics on one side, uh, noise and vibrations, but also safety, and safety is one of the key uh, top uh, pillars of the Volkswagen brand. We have nine top safety picks, and we are very proud also, you know, about uh, the car, and when it comes to structure and the rigidity, uh, there was done a lot to the car, and when you see, you know, we could improve 20%, that's a huge number, 20% from the previous car, uh, which gets us to a, a, a Hertz of 17.8, 17 who is familiar with those numbers, that's very, very good for a, car, a convertible. Uh, we will talk a little later also about the rollover protection, uh, which is, I think, 
besides the other concerns I then uh, mentioned, maybe um, the most uh, critical concern of a car of customers. Uh, Volkswagen is famous for laser welding, is also famous for hot form steel, high strength steel. Uh, this was, you know, applied in the right uh, areas here, be it the A-pillar, or be it also for torsional stiffness here uh, in the, between the B-pillars. This is uh, what I mentioned already, the automatic rollover system. Uh, and that is what you would not see behind the um, rear headrests, totally uh, covered here. Uh, it's pyrotechnical, uh, and uh, what you just know from high-level uh, uh, cabrios, I think it's great because your overall styling is not at all uh, Im impacted by it, uh, but you get the full, with the stiffened uh, A-pillar, you get the uh, full uh, benefit when it comes to a rollover. And we just talked this morning uh, in the rear, there is Andres Valbuena, uh, the planner of, uh, of Coupe and Cabrio. Uh, he just mentioned there was a rollover of six times uh, uh, rolling, and uh, the guy went out without any, any problem with this system applied to the EOS before. When it comes to uh, Shadi's suspension, I already mentioned, um, you know, we have every uh, convertible has a, a multi-link rear axle, hyperspot front, uh, and of course, you know, when it comes to the turbo, um, the engineers uh, with Andy Volba, a little stiffer and so on, uh, made it uh, on, the, on the sporty side. By the way, here you see, you know, uh, red calipers, 18-inch wheels on the turbo, I think a very nice play uh, and, uh, and very appealing to also the enthusiast side of our customers. Soft top. Uh, it was clear we want to give it a soft top also, you know, for package reasons when it comes to the drug space, also, you know, to really accommodate the nice uh, roof line. And uh, when, you, when it comes to an iconic convertible, I think you would agree that you would want the soft top. The soft top is not just an easy soft top, it's a sophisticated one. We have three outer layers, three inner layers, which will really help the interior noise. Uh, and, uh, you know, when you drive it, you will see it's, uh, it's, it's a very quiet car. Uh, and um, also there, you know, supporting the refinement uh, and, and the goals of the Volkswagen brand. Again, uh, folding uh, down in nine, nine and a half seconds up to 31 miles per hour, uh, that it's a little bit faster, a, a longer time to close it is simply because it has automatic latching, so you don't need any hand operation to close and open uh, uh, the roof except pushing the button. When we launched the car, we also said, you know, now, um, especially because of the heritage uh, of the uh, Beetle, uh, the video convertible, we said it's, uh, it's nice to also, you know, a couple of uh, special models which would um, go back to the 50s, 60s and 70s uh, flavor. And uh, so we have a 50s edition which is more this classic black exterior. We have the 60s edition which goes more back to the 60s where you have this blue jeans time uh, and the 70s more sophisticated. Uh, and um, so I think that very much supports also the emotional setting <coughs> of this vehicle. The vehicle loan is, is uh, one thing, but also we want to support it, of course, with the respective accessories. And one major accessory is, of course, a windshot and, uh, you know, another day-to-day -day usage thing. You have a windshot, what do you do with it? Where is it? Most of the times, it's not where the car is with you because you don't want to carry it around if people are there. So the Volkswagen engineer has a very nice idea, and you can later look at it. There is a, a special space um, here in the, in the trunk you know, below the head shelf where you can plug it in and it's there always when you drive and it's not in the middle of anything, not falling around and it's also very thin that it's not taking away drug space. Of course this is part of a bigger story around accessories. You have seen there is a couple of accessories around here. Uh, we have uh, what we also had for uh, available for the group of course is the nicknames, the German Kafer and other even Chinese uh, uh, badges, uh, thin plates and you know uh, a, a lot of things nicely to the car. And um, when it comes, for example, what I think street, street uh, parkers would uh, enjoy that custom-made covers we have. Uh, but it's a lot of uh, nice things, also a key fob and so on. Yeah, um, when we uh, sum up again, you know, it's, it's fun for four, it's practical, no compromise Caprio, great fuel economy with the TDI engine, um, uh, innovative uh, features like the, like the quick opening uh, rooftop, uh, great starting price uh, available then also for a real wide range of customers, very competitive pricing uh, and of course, you know, a, lot, uh, a great interior space, trunk space, uh, supporting day-to-day -day use and that's what we believe is the uh, power of German engineering. Thank you.